Hello everybody, the Water Red Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of well, Let's Play 4 Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we did even more quest stuff around uh, the different colonies and talk talking to people, and now I think we are going, we've hit kind of a dead end with talking to people because I wanted to go to the city, but apparently we can't for some reason in this part of the story, so this time we're going to be continuing with the story, but first we do have like a discussion topic, topic and someone else to talk to here. Just Kasami. I'm so glad I got to see you guys again. Good to see that you're okay too. The doggy equip, equip himself with well this time. He really helped me a lot when I was escaping anyway. So how was it? What should I say? Should I tell her the truth? Perhaps not. Okay. I'm getting peckish. Can we level we up again? No. Wait, oh, we got... Oh, that's still part two, but apparently this is like another quest. I guess we're not continuing with the, with the story in this part. Discuss curious about... Tra tra yeah, we're gonna have to wait on this, because this, the second part of this discussion topic is in the city, so... Yeah, let's talk about... Curi curious about training. Let's have a little huddle up. Before or now, I can't tell which one was tougher. What is this, this about? Oh, nothing really. I was just thinking about the training regimen. Made that those lost numbers go through. I hear it's a real gauntlet. That's how you toughen up, eh? Toughen up, Aiden. Not that I'd want to. I'd want to sign up myself. Right? Our, our, ours wasn't pleasant at all. But when it boils down to it, I think it's the trainees who are better off. Yeah. Compared to what we're doing now. Exactly. Yeah. Life was a lot easier back when we were new recruits. Recruits, right? Um, that doesn't make a kind of sense. All we do these days is fighting and then more fighting. Yeah, you get me. What sort of training do you think they? They actually go through. You're cur curious too, Senna? You want to come with? We can check it out together. Yeah, now, we're, now you're talking. It's always fun to shop around for some new ex exercises. You are really getting into, into this idea. The training ground should be near the d dormitory. I think we spent the night there once. Yeah, let's drop by when we're in the area. We got side story lands. Oh, we had one for uni, I think it was. Now we're getting one for lands. For lands. Uh, that was a cutscene. So you wish to utilize this thing of which I meant to dispose. Such daring lunacy. That is what I would dub it. It would be a dreadful waste to throw it away. There's always a use. Always. People, lives, the lot. Why? I stand corrected. Then, what manner of use is it that you have envisioned? The lost numbers. The city ruffians. You do know, no life can be harvested therefrom. Yes. I am aware. That's why I'll have my toy soldiers play a little game. The lives of the fallen will be amassed in this special flame clock as a reward for the final lass or lad left standing. Oh. The cream of the crop of youth competing for glory. Oh. Is that not simply sublime? Okay, so where... oh crap. Um... Looks like I can't even do this one either. Should we go here first? Yeah, because we can't access the city yet. Crap. Oh well. Looks like we're going back here.
Feels like we have one less worry now, eh? Agreed. They should be able to start on repairs now. Not what I meant, though. I meant this whole thing. Mio, that's right. At that moment, everything just felt so utterly hopeless that it hurt. There wasn't a thing I could do. But it still worked out, right? Huh. Thanks to all of you being there. Ah. What? Surprised you didn't choke on those words. Well, of course not. I can express some emotions. <laughs> there has to be a reason we met. Hmm? You say what? It's something that Noah said once. And you found a reason? We've seen one wish granted. True. Still, we've got a way to go. This isn't nearly the end. No rest for Ouroboros. At least we've won ourselves an extension. Ah, uh, it'll work out somehow. Uni, am I sensing a streak of optimism? I thought you were one to worry about the details a bit more. Now I've got a reliable guy to stand by me, so... Oh. What, what and, and who m might that be then? <laughs> That'll be my secret. You all done and dusted. Good work, team. All squeaky clean. We leave tomorrow, correct? Yeah, so let's take it easy for the rest of today. Man, but where can it be so easily taken? Good question. The castle is swarming with Agnes soldiers in lost numbers. If you aren't fussed about fancy bedding, there's a guard station in the bu building you can lie down in. It is better than cave cell. Alright, so let's head this way. Well, but first, we're not about the same altitude as the Great Sword, right? I hardly ever see any birds around. It's really quiet. Yeah, it is. When I was in prison, you could hear the waves sometimes. Those were rare moments of com comfort. We got the sea. I assume this is just a topic dis discussion. Let's rest and heal up. Uh. Wait. Ugh. Let's be. Is this another quest? Riku get jumped on right. Oh. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? Oh, I guess we have to go to this specific camp. And here we are. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? Let's discuss the sea. Let's have a little huddle up. It's soothing, the sound of the waves. Just look at it, the sea just seems to go on forever. If we're, we were still in Colony Gamma, we'd never have ended up coming here. Don't we think we, we would have either, I know. Yeah, no way, I don't think I could have ever imagined spending time just gazing out in the water. Well, of course not. We, If we had time to spend staring at the sea, we, we had time to fight. You said it. I think having moments like these is good for us, from time to time. Agreed. I'm getting a call. It's Commander Izzard. Fine, can I bother you? Of course, Commander. What, are, what can I do for you? I need to discuss something with you. Could you come by Colony Lambda? That is, when you have a free moment, I would... Uh, Hate, hate to inconvenience you. Yes, understood. We'll be there. All right, see you later then, Tyon. What do you say? That we should meet him at Lambda whenever we have the time. All right, then let's pay him a, pay him a visit when we next have a gap in our schedule. 
got side story tie on too so we have both lands and tie on as a side story but at least we can do tie ons now actually I have no idea why we had to have right then Should uh, we move on? Riku and Manana as a hero that's right Scott you can't Riku get job done right getting dark already we can't do that yet but let's see Okay, so let's go to Calling Lambda and let's head here. Guessing we didn't get very far in the story in this part like I planned. Oh, now I remember. Tiny got that message from Izzard, right? I did. I was thinking now might be a good time to see him. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. We'll be waiting outside. Thank you. I'll try to make it quick. What's this? This was an imoase. A lens. A membrane covering an iris. Nimue? Use this? Yeah. It must have been five years ago. It was on an expedition to the Cadencia frontier. However, Kvezi troops attacked at night. My squad was crushed. And I was hurt bad. The one who nursed me back to health was Nimue. Theirs was a curious colony. No one ever fought. They'd spend their days tending Sophronias. There used to be a castle there at one time, but at some point it was destroyed in a great battle, and there it lay in ruins. It was there that I saw some cradles left over from that time. They looked like they would break at any minute. But still, some were making soldiers. Nimue, she was just one of them. The people there, they were like we are now. They lived free of the flame clock's yoke. Sir, you say they were like us, so perhaps their colony was freed by Ouroboros at some point in the past. Well, I'm not sure. It looked like Nimue and the others had always been living off the land. Also, they'd been strictly shunning contact with others for generations. Naturally, most people there gave me the cold shoulder. Before long, I journeyed away from the colony. Along with Nimue. Nimue left with you. Why, sir? There's a world out there. It'd be nice to see it. I wondered at her motivations. But I think I see now. Now we don't live under the flame clock's yoke. We're more free to consider our emotions. Back then, Nimue had to carefully hide the fact that her iris was unconnected to a flame clock. She enlisted a Nopon engineer to make the lens. All so she could live among us. And after that, she became the Nimue you know. I never knew you two had such a connection. Incredible. But why show me this now? Well, actually... What? The leadership want Nimue's colony wiped out? Yeah. We only just heard. A Nopon merchant was able to tip us off. And since Nopon are involved in handling most logistics and transportation, information should be good. So the brass have pinpointed its location? Could be.
You don't have to be so cagey, Commander. Cagey? You can tell it to me straight. Am I wrong? You'd like us to keep Nimue's colony safe. But... Isn't that the reason? Why you've told me this whole story? If you moved to protect the colony, it'd put this place in the line of fire. I've heard. Like how, after the Consul's disappearance and the loss of the Flame Clock, despite sending a report to HQ, you haven't received a word of reply. Hmm. We reported that it all happened while we lay there unconscious, which is the unvarnished truth, yet still nothing. I understand. Let me run it past the others, Commander. Okay, so we got Isser's request. And, uh... There's something I want to discuss with everyone. And now we have to go to one of the, the canteen, canteen to discuss this topic. First, we have to talk to Tolgrim here. Poji's a real idiot. idiot. His recklessness was what got us onto this mess. It's a good thing he's in solitary now. He can put that fevered imagination of his eyes on, of his on ice, for, ice for a little while. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Let's rest and heal up. All right, let's discuss. Uh... Guess we have to go to the Lambda shelter. Cause it can't be anywhere else for some reason. Cause Izzard's request. Hey, so can we talk? Beautiful story. Those two must have shared a lot of memories. Like you said, Tyler. Sounds like Ouroboros got involved in the past. So that pretty much makes it our business. Count us in, mate. Saffronia. That's that thingy, right? We saw one growing once. If there's loads of them blooming somewhere, that's something I'd want to see. Huh? I'm shocked. What? God likes flowers and junk. Banana too! Banana have wished to see flowers! This is unusually proactive for you, Manana. Why so? Ladies with flowers are like peas of same pot! No idea what Manana talk about. But someone had to keep Manana out of trouble. That okay with friend Tyon? Sure. Thank you, everyone. Alright, so... I guess we have to go back here to talk back to Izzard again. Thanks. I'm sorry to involve you in this. Don't worry. We all agree that this is something we should do. It's a while since we first got thrown together. We're used to this by now. And, you know, we want to see Sophronia's. It was me. I'm the one who threw Nimue's life into chaos. I should have just left her where she was. Commander. Kion. Sir? If Nimue's been reborn, if she's in that colony, Keep her safe, by any means. This time, I want her to follow the path she was meant to tread. Yes, sir. I promise. I don't get it. Why doesn't the commander just come along? He's got no choice, right? He might get the attention of the castle or something. Oh, guess so. That's not all, I think. Hmm? I'm sure you must be scared. If he meets her again, he might end up behaving the same way towards her. Is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. But I do understand how he feels. Yeah, I definitely hesitate. It's not just about himself. If I hadn't been so careless, the commander wouldn't have to feel this way. You're not still thinking like that, are you? No, no. I, I'm, I'm just... You just what? Looking back all the time never helped nobody. Look, I... I know. Right? Come on, then. Uni. Huh? 
Okay, sorry. I know you're right. Okay, so we have to go back to the Cadencia region. Wait. Oh, here it is. And over here. Uh, Hermit's Inlet. So, Tyon, feeling the pressure yet? No, why would I be? And I'm here fine. we are. There's a Pharonis here. Looks like it's trying to clear away the earth. No sneaking through with this big thing in the way. I think we found the enemy force the commander mentioned. <sighs> Can the Nana not see any people? Whole unit made up of Levnesses. Much weirdness. Hang on, look. A console. They haven't found us. No. I don't think they've spotted us just yet. This one might have different abilities than that K guy. I guess that's a thing. But why have only Levnesses? I can't fathom what this Mobius can do. But they're about to wipe out an allied colony. They'd have a fun time explaining that to soldiers. True, true. Let's hurry. All that digging will take some time. If we can bypass this unit, we should be able to beat them there. Let's do that. And make sure we don't get spotted. Ready? Alright, discovered fair lane underpass. I guess we have to go up, up here. And oh wait, crap, uh... Yeah, there's some stuff up down here we can explore. <sighs> and of course we can't go that way. Come on, why can't we? Mm. Guess we're gonna have to wait on that. So there's more places in Condensia region that we haven't like explored yet. Here. Yeah, no, we have to wait on that part. Of course, these enemies. Aggro. Girl with the gall. Fight this other guy? Not no. Oh, of course we do. Wow, this is weird. Uh. Oh crap. Uh. Let's let's it for like just because I take some damage. Like we act activated the. That uh, thing before, like when we uh, when the enemy started fighting us. Uh, 
Okay, finally. Mine. Might as well, yeah? Yes, uni's the bus. So, uh, where's that? Oh, I think it's up there. Huh? Maybe I have to go up here. Yeah, let's climb back up. Back up. Uh. I think that it's just interest is going to lead somewhere else. supposed to go. I want to go over here first. I think I could stare at that forever. I don't wanna... No, I don't... I don't do that. Maybe this will take us to where that container is. It looks like it's going to. Dang it! Ugh. Okay, let's finally try this again. Okay, there we go. Let's just sneak a peek. Can't believe I fell that first time. Whoa, visitors! Nope, don't want to fight you. Really don't want to fight. Now let's start heading back to where we're initially supposed to go. I think that's going to be it for this part, and next time we'll uh, go onwards. So, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out!